Did you know that the difference between DevOps and Agile is not really as wide as people think? The two frameworks often confuse software developers and project managers, but their differences are surprisingly simple to understand. Hi, I'm Michael from CodeCloud, and today we're gonna to define and compare DevOps versus Agile at a very high level with the help of DevOps Dana and Agile Alex. So by the end of this video, not only will you know what each term means, but you also learn exactly how they can work together. Also share a bonus tip that will help you succeed, so keep watching. Okay, so meet Agile Alex and DevOps Dana. They're both here to help you deliver great software, but they take quite different approaches. Alex focuses on the development process, breaking work into sprints. He iterates, he improves, he delivers software quick quickly. He also interfaces a lot with requirements and project managers, and he adjusts based on feedback. DevOps Dana, on the other hand, streamlines the software delivery process and the deployment process between basically the development and operations teams. And so while Alex works in sprints, she automates the testing and deployment of his code so it gets to users faster. Now, Alex writes the tests and Dana is gonna automate them. Time is important to both of them. Time for delivery, time for resolution, all of this makes a, a difference. Because Alex has to deliver a working product as early as possible to get customer feedback. And of course, Dana, she's gotta reduce the time between the commit and writing of code and the deploy it so that Alex can be able to get his feedback quicker, right? Even if it doesn't go into production, he's gotta be able to provide something back to his customer by getting feedback either through user acceptance testing or better yet into production, right? And so it's Dana's job to automate and deploy that. Agile uses short development cycles called sprints, which are typically one to three weeks, while DevOps focuses on automating pretty much everything that can be automated. And they use practices like CI CD, infrastructure as code, to create automated repeatability. Now, in Alex's team, various roles work together to complete a sprint, while Dana encourages collaboration between traditional teams like developments, operations, and security. Team pretty different, but when you take a closer look, you see some similarities. For example, DevOps is all about continuous improvement and feedback loops, and Agile is also big on continuous feedback as well. Plus, both frameworks emphasize collaboration. And you, know, you could argue that DevOps actually fits inside of Agile because DevOps is concerned with the last mile of repo to production delivery, Whereas Agile basically has the whole thing, but particularly the pieces around how to design, build, code, test software, that whole piece, the whole design, getting the right requirements, building the software, that's incredibly important. Delivering a minimal viable product, which is also part of DevOps thinking as well. So to show you how they could work together, right? Imagine an organization that needs to release a new feature quickly and ensure that this feature works well in production. This is for like maybe an existing mobile app for let's say online shopping. And in such an organization, you might need data to automate the tests that Alex has written and automate the deployment of the code that Alex has written. But then you have to get Alex to develop both the test and the code and refine the features based on user feedback. And then he's gonna commit that to a repository, which Dana's automation is gonna pick up, run through the test that Alex has defined and if they pass the test, then it gets released out into non-production and production. This way you get to release updates faster, maintain higher quality without delays, errors, and confusion. The result, you get a smooth development process, a smooth delivery process, and a feedback loop that hopefully leads to satisfied customers. So that also includes happy team, happy users. But there's a bonus tip here to keep in mind. You get to focus on key metrics. Whether you're working with Agile, DevOps, or both, you basically have to track and measure the data that matters most. Assuming one framework is the best for you could hinder you from delivering the highest quality product possible, particularly if you've got cross-functional teams. And there you have it. Some of the key differences between DevOps and Agile and how you can use them both to deliver better products. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more and let me know in the comments which framework sounds better for you. Don't forget to check out the latest DevOps certifications at CodeCloud.com and get certified today.